before and after purchasing this calculator I could not find any uh, in-depth video uh, on how to use it there are some uh, really good video on YouTube but not really what I was looking for so I decided to make one my own in the last video of uh, that I made about these uh, two calculator I could not even solve uh, a simple quadratic equation on this uh, uh, HP 49G plus and uh, I've had it for two to three days now and thankfully I can now solve uh, uh, quadratic equations and uh, and much more so I'm gonna set this one aside and we're just gonna get into it so what is so special about the HP 49G plus is the fact that it has a RPM reverse policy notation RPM is uh, a way of doing a math calculation math operation if you will and uh, the TI Eighty-nine titanium is a very different calculator. They both have computer algebra system. Uh, computer algebra system uh, lets you uh, solve equations and simplify expressions. And the reason why uh, the TI is really popular, part of the reason is because it is uh, easier to use. And uh, yeah, that is that. The HP is a very uh, is a very quirky uh, calculator. Okay. So now let's go ahead and. Uh, show you uh, my setup this is how I set up I set mine up so if you go to mod as you can see I have this in RPN and uh, I set this to engineering the normal format engineering mode as you can see you have four different modes to choose from so I decided to go for engineering mode instead of standard because it makes certain calculation faster and uh, you get the same result okay so that's why I choose that and uh, I change the decimal places to two Okay, as you can see, so the answers are, are more accurate. The answers are really close to the standard answers. Okay, so I also I turn off these clicks, save last stack for undo and answer. So as you can see, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you uh, this uh, feature throughout the video. It is really helpful. I uh, I end up uh, using it a lot actually. Okay, so again under cast, I usually like to. Uh, keep keep this check approximate because what it does is uh, when you are doing a, a quadratic equation sometimes it's gonna simplify your rational uh, your rational solutions so I don't want that and I want to uncheck this one and uh, later later this video you can see how uh, you can uh, quickly activate this using uh, uh, some key key strokes okay I also want to keep complex on so when I'm solving uh, uh, a quadratic equation with uh, that has uh, complex solutions, it will give me uh, the real part and the imaginary part. This is not a math tutorial. Uh, this is just uh, a calculator review. Okay, so I'm not really gonna go uh, too much into that when it comes to 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 the math side of it. Okay, so I have that, and now I'm gonna cancel that and go to flag to see how I have a uh, mind set up. As you can see, I have everything unchecked. Okay, so this is just gonna display uh, how you call it uh, your real and imaginary part, I believe. And another option is I'm not too sure what this this really is. Okay, I'm not I don't want to front. Like I said, this is my first HP calculator. I don't know why they have this X and Y coordinate here, but I probably will find out later on. Okay, so for now I'm just gonna leave it as as that. And some this plot. Mm, I think this what this does is uh, when you are doing uh, when you are graphing uh, an equation it will let you uh, graph another uh, equation on top of it that's what I believe it does like uh, a 3d if you are uh, doing a 3d graph it will let you do a function uh, it will let you graph a function on top of a 3d graph okay I don't know if that makes sense not two 3d graph at the same time but a 3d graph and a function like a z of z one of x and then uh and then uh f of x or whatever okay so transfer via ir okay so i have that on too as well binary transfer i'm not too sure what those things does but obviously it has something to do with uh, transferring data onto this programs while not double speed sprint well i think this is self-explanatory it's gonna make uh the uh, uh the content on the screen a little a little bit more uh, legible and a lot of these uh, uh, flags options have to do with uh, how things appear on the calculator. 
you know show clock i want to leave that i is this fraction mark again you have two different options here when it comes to fraction marks i'm not too sure what either one of them does because i don't really re recalling seeing uh, this on my stack but i'm gonna leave it as that okay i'm gonna leave it as is standard beep off the beep is off okay as you can see you can choose all these options here okay this video is getting longer we are already five minutes into it i don't want to make it any longer so i'm just going to move through this really quickly and show you how to solve quadratic equations on this okay uh but uh something really important i wanna uh, uh i wanna emphasize is uh let's see okay we're probably gonna come back to this one later i'm not too sure let's see okay the soft menu the soft menu is, is something really important it makes uh it just makes uh your uh steps much shorter you know instead of uh you uh doing uh maybe four or five clicks to access the menu you can just do in one two clicks here so that's why you have the soft menu okay so the uh, other one is the box box menu so box menu is gonna give you pop-ups okay soft menu is just gonna display uh uh, menus options uh, at the bottom of the screen here <clears throat> okay so since I, I wasn't I did not make any change you know I just wanted to show you what I, what modes I'm using so or which flags I'm using I'm just gonna press cancel and uh, we are back onto the home screen so now there are two uh, method of uh, solving equation of or two method of uh, entering equations so the easiest way would be to just go to the equation writer here by pressing this uh, uh, red key here, this uh, uh, second red key, and uh, go to uh, and press uh, this uh, this key right here. Okay, and it will take you to the equation writer. So as you can see here, you can just uh, uh, you can just uh, type equations as you would on uh, any calculator for the most part. Okay, so the RPM rule does not apply here. Okay, the RPM rules don't apply here. So I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and put a simple equation. So it's gonna be x to the power of two. Okay, and uh, if you wanna do x squared minus whatever, so you have to uh, press up key. As you can see, you can either press up key several times or you can just uh, press the red key again and uh, up and it's just going to highlight the whole thing so you can add uh, your next expression so minus 2x again red and up and uh, we are going to do uh, minus 1 i'm pretty sure this is going to have only real solutions so as you can see uh, i'm just going to select the whole thing one more time and copy it just in case uh, we need to make some adjustment so i'm going to press red and uh, bar key it's going to copy it for me okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna press enter to put this on the stack so now i have my equation on the stack and uh depending on what you are doing on your calculator you are not gonna have this uh this option right here okay it's, it's gonna depend what you're doing on your calculator you know it could be uh let's see custom here you may have this okay but if you want to solve an equation you just need to press this symbol key here as you can see and you're gonna have these additional options here okay and uh each of these option is uh, going to be assigned to the respective function key here so it's gonna be f1 through f6 hence you have six options here and uh if you want to check and see whether or not you have more options you can just press on next and it's gonna show you uh the remaining options and if you press next again it's gonna take you back to the first one okay so we are just gonna go ahead and click solve here. So when you click on solve, you have some more options again. So these are the solve options. And uh, if you press uh, the red second key and the down arrow key, it's gonna uh, show you uh, the things that could not be displayed here. Okay, so these are the same, these are the same options, just, you know, just uh, uh, more, uh, more 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 letters or more words if you would okay so as you can see so most people would be tempted to use the first second uh, the first solve you know to try and solve the equation and they would be right so as you can see we have two solves here so the first solve says solve vx and the second one is just solved by itself 
So what the first solve does is going to solve your equation for x. The default uh, variable is x. On most calculator it is actually. Okay. So we're just going to hit the first solve. And uh, it's giving us our answer in... Uh, okay, so this is engineering mode. It's giving us uh, our answer in this looking uh, stuff. Okay. Okay, so I'm wondering if... Uh, uh, the options I was talking about earlier that I said we would probably need to check. Let's go back to flag. And there was a part that says simplify uh, rational. I think it's this one right here, 111. And you have an exclamation mark. So I'm just going to uncheck it uh, and press OK. OK, one more time. And I'm going to undo this. OK, so I won't be able to undo. I'm going to explain this later on. So that's what I meant that I needed to copy just in case we need to go back and do some, some changing. So anyways, uh, so if you want to view this, you just need to press the down key and uh, you can see your solutions. For those who cannot read this, this is just a negative 0 0.4142135, second one is a 2.4142, etc. Okay, so let me just go back and, do, and, and check something. So I'm going to go back to the equation writer and paste my equation one more time, put it on the stack and do solve. Okay, so apparently I don't have any rational uh, solutions here. Let me just make sure. Mm, go to CAS, simplify non-rational. Okay, I probably need to uncheck this one. That's probably why. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is a very different uh, calculator. Okay, so I have my rational solution, so that's what I wanted. And uh, when you are taking the college algebra, for instance, in uh, college, you you are going to, uh, for the most part, you uh, want to have your answer uh, the way the calculator give, gives it to you, you see? Okay, so these are our real solutions. So, you see, that's the reason why I uh, always uh, like to keep the approximate off. As you can see, it is off now. But for some reason, if I wanted my answer in approximate, so I can just press undo here, red and undo. And as you can see, it's going to take me back to my equation. As you can see, this is really handy. And one thing to know about the undo is that you, only, uh, you can only uh, go back to the last thing you had in the buffer. By buffer, what I mean is that the keystroke. So if I were to, let's say, uh, press enter, uh, I mean, uh, press solve here. If I were to uh, do anything, if I were to put uh, something on the stack by accident, and now I want to go back, and uh, I want to go back to my equation, it's not going to work because the undo only works for the last element or the last thing you had in, in, in your buffer. So just keep that in mind. So you can just go back once, okay? But it's really handy nevertheless to have, okay? So I'm going to erase this and paste my equation here as well. I don't think this is going to work. Okay, it, it went through fine. So now I have my equation. I can do whatever I want with it. So beside the solving, uh, you can also uh, factor this. And uh, remember, if you want to, uh, whatever you want to do with this equation, for the most part, you can just press on the same key. And we have different options. We have algebra, arithmetic, calculus, graph, solve, trig. So if you press algebra, you can expand, you can factor. Okay, so you cannot expand this, but you can factor it. Okay, let's press factor and see. As you can see, it's giving us our two factors. Okay, so we can always go back, undo, and if you try to expand, uh, this cannot be further extended. Okay, so there is that. Okay, so earlier, uh, uh, you probably remember I told you that there were uh, two ways of entering equations. So the first way was to just go through the equations uh, rather which is much easier in my opinion and the second one is doing it uh, directly onto uh, the calculator here on the stack putting your stuff on the stack so our equation was let's see I'm just gonna put the equation here uh, our equation was uh, let's uh, paste this here our equation was x squared minus 2x minus 1 Okay, I'm just gonna leave it on the stack. Hopefully, it's not it's not gonna give us any trouble. So, I'm gonna put the same thing on the stack. Remember, I am, I, I am in RPN mode. So, in RPN mode, you cannot just uh, write your two x squared minus two x minus one. It's not gonna work that way. Okay, so you wanna 
put uh, each stuff or uh, each uh, each element on the stack first so we are going to start with uh, x square so how do you put x square on the stack so first you will need to put x on the stack enter and then square so it's gonna be two and then uh, you hit the square sign here so now we have x square on the stack okay so now we are going to leave it as is and uh, negative 2x how do we put down the stack so 2 x is really 2 times x as you can see here it's got a little dot in between so just in case you were wondering how you do that so negative 2x is nothing but 2 times x okay so we can put our 2 on the stack first and uh, x is, we can either put x on the stack or just put x here and press time and it's gonna multiply x by 2 so now we have 2x how do you add negative Okay, so you can just uh, subtract that from uh, x square minus 2, or you can just hit this uh, uh, minus plus minus key. Okay, so I'm just gonna subtract it, it's gonna be the same result. Okay, so as you can see, now my equation is taking form little by little. So I have x square minus 2x, and the last thing is uh, negative 1, that's the real part. Okay, so how do I do negative 1? I can just uh, put 1 on the stack. And uh, just like previously, I can just hit minus again. And I have x squared minus 2x, the same exact equation as you can see. And it works just as the first one. Okay. So that is, uh, that's how you put uh, an equation onto the stack. Okay. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you really quick uh, how do you use uh, the second solve. So what the second solve function does, if you put same and solve, if you hit the second one, you're going to get a... Uh, uh, error it says too few argument uh, it says that because you have not specified what you are solving for so it wants you to specify what you're solving for uh, like I said earlier the first solve uh, function uh, is going to solve for X uh, by default and the second solve is gonna want you to uh, specify what you are going to solve for so that's why it gives you an error okay so since we are going to be solving for X uh, you can just uh, press X and the second one okay as you can see we get the same result and uh, this comes handy when you are dealing with equations with more than one variable x and y for instance and you only want to solve y instead of x then you would have to go for the second solve feature okay and uh, on top of that this can also uh, simplify your three identities for you uh, as in cost to x again whenever you want to enter an expression you can do in the equation writer that's a lot easier and faster in my opinion and press enter it's gonna put on the stack for you and uh, if you press same it's gonna give you some more option and uh, there is an option here called trig and if you are, you also go to algebra you also have uh, the trig expand function here okay so it's a little redundant so if you press this it's gonna give you your trig identity okay so again let's go back undo and uh, if we go back same and click trig we have a tree expand here as you can see okay so let's do the same thing with sign but next, this time we are going to uh, put that expression uh, using the rpm rpm mode so sign of 2x remember 2x is just 2 times x so we're gonna put our 2 on the stack x and multiplication we have 2x and we just hit the sign and we have sign 2x and trig trick expand and uh, you have your trick identity here okay and before I forget uh, if you wanted to get an, an, an approximate number so our equation let's see we had it here this is our equation uh, if I wanted to solve this but instead of uh, getting uh, the rational solutions I wanted to uh, get the approximate solution you can just uh, press uh, uh, this key right here the red key and uh, enter as you can see and it's gonna give you an, an approximate okay let's press this one uh, I think we need to go back we can't go back because the key buffer is already full let's see okay I'm just gonna paste it here one more time press enter if you hit this and press enter okay new error identify name uh, that is interesting well this calculator this calculator is really really interesting 
this is my first time getting this error so i'm pretty sure it has something to do with uh, some of the uh, flag feed options but it wasn't doing this earlier uh, let's see let's try this again okay num error and undefined name or it could be the fact that the calculator is in engineering mode okay but if you want to uh, change as you can see the c here is uh, when you see equal equal that's exact and when you press hold this and press enter it should change to approximate okay, let's try that okay as you can see we get an approximate oh <laughs> i'm getting ahead of myself so nothing is wrong with the calculator what i was doing wrong i was just trying to <laughs> instead of uh, pressing the solve i was uh pressing the uh, this key and enter that is not going to work because we have a quadratic equation and you have to solve for x first so i did not do that so that's why it wouldn't work but as you can see you can toggle uh, the approximate as you can see the c you have the little zigzag next to it that's in the approximate mode and if you hold this press enter it's going to change to equal so that's exact mode so if you solve you are going to get your answer in rational okay so that's it for this video if you have any questions just make sure you put in the comment section and before i leave i just want to uh, go ahead and uh, put something some more stuff on the stack for you let's say we have a different equation like a polynomial of the third degree that you want to put on here uh, this is just going to be random i did not plan this at all and just like the rest of this video i uh, was not planned i was just uh you know i just uh, came uh, uh, came up with this up on top of my head that's why the video is long because it's not planned I don't really like playing videos because you know I, I just uh, I think it's just uh, it's just, this is just a uh, best way to do it in my opinion so you see how fast it is to uh, figure some of these things out you know so I'm gonna try and put a polynomial of the third degree on the stack so let's just put uh, x square minus okay let, let me put uh, on here first so you know what I'm doing so x cube uh, minus 2x square plus 2x minus 1 okay I'm gonna copy the whole thing just in case okay so so you know how to use the RPN oh you see this why I, I always like to copy stuff I forgot so paste it press enter to put on the stack so this is what we're doing Okay, let me just uh, zoom this in a little bit. Okay, let me zoom out because you need to see uh, the keys I'm typing, the keys I'm hitting. Hopefully you can see, but uh, this is the equation we're gonna put on the stack here in RPN mode, x cubed minus two x squared plus two x minus one, okay? So first we are gonna put x on the stack, enter, and power three, so you put three and hit the power sign. So x cube is on the stack now. Minus 2x squared, okay? Don't worry too much about the negative sign, okay? So you put out 2 on the stack and x. 2x is just 2 times x on the stack and hit multiply and to the power of 2. So you press 2 and hit the power key, okay? And it's negative. So you can just press this negative. I think it's best to go with this negative instead of doing minus all the time, okay? So press negative. As you can see, that is on the stack. Negative 2x squared is on the stack. And now we want to add plus 2x. So again, you press 2. You put that on the stack. And uh, 2x is just x times 2. So you put x, multiply. And uh, x squared minus 2x. x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x. Okay? Since uh, 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 x cubed minus 2x let's see so we can do adding now to add this stuff together so we have negative 2x squared plus 2x and if we add, do add some more so we have x cubed plus minus parentheses so the plus and the minus is going to be multiplied and you are going to end up with a x squared i mean a negative 2x squared as you can see minus one one enter and subtract that as you can see we have the same exact thing Okay, so this is how you uh, 
do this let's try and solve this see if we are gonna be lucky and get uh, some some solution so let's solve okay so the reason for that is because this thing does not have a uh, uh, this thing is probably hard to solve so that's why it gives us an empty uh, bracket so if we go back and uh, Put this in as approximate instead of an exact it's an approximate now and try to solve it we should get lucky as you can see it's giving us an answer if we press the down key we have uh, our solution 0 0.2444 and uh, we have 0 0.444 you know we have several solutions here okay so yeah, that is that. So that's why. Okay. So that's. Uh, if you have any questions, just make sure to put it in the comment section. I'll make. I'll do my best to uh, get to them. And for the purpose of the video, I also have Matia eighty nine that I wasn't planning on using, but I just wanna enter the same equation to see what kind of solution we are going to get. Okay. So solve x to the power of three minus two x square plus two x minus one equal to zero solving for x press enter okay this is interesting x cube minus 2x square plus 2x square minus 1 so this is only giving us one uh, solution which is not correct because we have a polynomial of the third degree so we need to be getting at least those three solutions as you can see so calculators i mean they are great when it comes to uh, simplifying equations and solving equations but they cannot do everything obviously you have to do some work yourself but uh, we have a polynomial of the third degree we should not be getting only one real solution uh, the hp in that sense is more accurate in my opinion as you can see one more time you can see our solutions okay so these are the values of x x coordinates what first first solution the second solution and the third solution as you can see All right okay and uh, the right and left is gonna let you move a uh, switch uh, uh, let these uh, things switch places uh, as you can see I mean just this, just the right not right and left just right it's gonna let let them switch places as you can see and I just wanted to view this. I'm not too sure how that works. Okay, there you go. So you press the up arrow, click views, and uh, it gives you something slightly more appealing to look at. Okay, as you can see, we have three solutions here, three coordinates. Okay, so this is, and these are two very different solutions than the uh, erinant titanium but it is what it is <laughs> if you have any questions just make sure you put them in the comment section thank you